What's up guys, back again with another video. So we're going to go ahead and do uh, episode 2 of the Material CSS tutorial. So jumping right into it, we're going to do colors now, but I want to do some things first. Uh, let's right click this file here and rename it to topography. And we're going to have a uh, separate file for each uh, lesson or episode. So we'll make a new one called colors.html. I'll open that up. And we can close this if you want to. Oh wait, no. Let's, let's copy it and paste it. Then we'll just get rid of all this stuff here. So to get started, um, let's go ahead and make a simple text here. Or no, we'll use a p text with a flow class, a flow text class, class flow text. So we get a nice and big text here. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, so I'll put some more ribs on. There we go. And uh, we'll right click this, open this with live server. Close that one. And there we go, there's our text. So, um, so if we want to color the font, it's actually, I mean, it's tough to get a hang of maybe, but it's really simple. So remember if you want to add multiple classes, all you gotta do is have a space here and there you go. So let's say you want to have a blue text. So just do text, I mean blue, the color, and then dash text. So now it knows that the text is blue, but as you could probably see as we're doing this, if you have it by itself, then it will just do the background, but we'll get to that later. So there we go. And actually, let's do something here. All right guys, so I'm back again. And so, if I'm what I did, I was I made a different p tag for each um you know color basic color. These are the basic colors I'll teach you about first before we learn some more amazing colors. But shh, don't tell anyone. So the first thing is going to be red, like we have here. So red dash text. And there we go. Now it's red. It's a fucking beautiful red too. Oh my gosh. Dash text. Oops. What I do? Oh, I think it's just the wrap. Okay. Yep. It's pink. And then purple dash text blue dash text green dash text. That's just doing that because the word the wrapping. So you know, yeah. So even this is responsive technically. So uh, yellow dash text orange dash text. I don't know I'm talking like this, I'm weird. Brown dot text, dash text, I mean, and then gray. I know gray is spelled wrong. I don't know why they spell it like that. I mean, American, so we don't spell it that way. And then black dash text, you know, default it's already black, but yeah, I don't know. And then white dash text, which will make it invisible, obviously, because the background is white. But if you highlight it, there we go. So now we have all our basic colors here. So these are awesome. So yeah, so now you can use these whenever you're making stuff. So I advise you play around with these. And um, so, yep. Yeah. And now I'm gonna teach you about some more advanced, well, not really advanced. They were made the same way, but some cooler colors. So I'll be right back. All right guys, so now we have our cooler colors here and uh, I labeled it nice and sexy here for you. So let's go ahead and add these colors nice and easy peasy. So to add a deep purple, we're just gonna do deep purple. So deep dash purple. And you guessed it, hopefully, dash text. Oh, spelled purple wrong, that's not good. There you go, so now it's a kind of purple, but it's a deep purple, which is a looking, good looking color. Indigo, dash text. There we go. Light, blue, dash text. Cyan, dash text. Teal. What green dash text Amber is a nice color, I like amber. And deep oh deep orange. Mm 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 I love me some deep orange. Blue gray is kinda interesting too. Use these colors, these are really nice on your web page, just make it original, you know. And so we have our cooler colors here. So I mean they're pretty similar but different. So different shades. So anyway, um, that's how we do that. 
And we can go even further than this by adding shades. So each one of these colors has a different uh, shading capability. Um, so if we want to make it lighter, we can go lighter five shades. And if we want to make it darker, we can make it darker four shades. And then there's, and then in addition to each color, there's also um, a different accent color for each color, accent shades. There's like so many different shades. And uh, I'll have this link th linked in the description for you if you don't want to forget. But um, it's fairly simple. So what we can do to apply these shades is by, so for each one, um, okay, we'll only do a couple here, but um, so I'll make a new thingy here. Okay, so I'm back again. And so I made a little thingy here, which um, this is all the different things you could do basically. So five lighter shades, four darker shades, and then four accents. So now we'll run through how to use them. So of course, to do red, like we did before, we can do red dash text. And so if you want to dart, um, make this here a darker, I mean lighter color by one, then we can simply do red dash text and then text dash lighten, oops, lighten one. So if you look very closely, these are actually two different colors, different shades of the same color, I mean. And uh, yeah, so you can go through uh, four more with these. So class red, what the heck, I hate this. Red dash text and then text lighten two so now we have another one so class red dash text text dash lighten three so you, uh, as you can tell by here I mean by this point you know these are definitely different and they're actually getting lighter each time I mean it's called lighten so obviously so let's keep going Now we have our different shades here, and uh, yeah, so as you can tell, it gets it fades out basically, and um, so yeah, um, oops, I put four, that they're both four, I meant five here, so now it's like almost, you can barely even see it, so um, you can do this with any of the colors, not just red, red, I'm not going to do all of them because there's just, that would take forever, so let's keep going with the darker shades, so if we look here, now we're going to go this way. So darker, so class red dash text, and then text dash darken one. Oh, okay, so here it is. And then let's keep going. There you go. We'll just copy the rest of these, to be honest. And so, three and four. And so now, you can tell it gets darker. So this is like a blood kind of color. And now we have our accent colors, which are interesting. Um, we'll just type it out. So class, red dash text, accent, one. Oh, text accent one, excuse me, so text accent one, and there you go, so there's our weird little accent color, and uh, so class, red dash text, text, class, red dash text, text accent three, there we go, and finally, we have class, red text text accent four and that's it for that for the font color and uh, yeah so do this again for each and every one of the colors you can i mean and uh so yeah i hope that helps a little bit i know it can be kind of confusing but just use this page, page as a reference i'll leave it in the description of course so yeah that's how you do that so let's go over um some background colors um it's the exact same thing except let me show you so if we want to change uh, these to background colors, all we got to do is simply remove text and that's it. So just red. And now it's red, pink, purple.
purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, brown, gray, black, and white. And there we go. White is obviously blending in with the page. So we have all these colors. All you got to do is put the color name and you're all good. And yeah, so flow text is just here, of course, from last episode, just to make it, you know, responsive and all that fancy crap, which it doesn't even need to do in this. But anyway, and um, if you want to apply the shades to these, um, all you got to do is where, where the shades are, all you got to do is not have text, just have red text, lighten, like that, basically. So we'll have red, remove the text, and remove that, and have this and there we go so for this to be able to work on the background you have to have text uh, dash I mean text dash removed so just red and dark and white that's it and again again use this as a reference so I hope this helps um, let me know if you need any help I hope it wasn't too confusing if you like to leave a like and if you want to see more leave a like and subscribe if you want to, um, see more too because I'm going to drop some videos daily on random stuff so I hope you enjoyed uh, peace